Some people yeah. are getting it. Yeah. Yeah. When Goliath was fighting this man, when Goliath was fighting David, he was coming with all kinds of things. One mistake he made was to mention the God of Israel. Mm -hmm. And David said, you have just shifted the battle mm -hmm. from the natural to the spiritual. Mm -hmm. wow. And because you have put it to the spiritual, guess what will happen to you? Spiritually, your shadow shall lose power. Your epikaizo shall delete in power. Depleted in power. Now watch this. And the Bible says, and he put one sword. He put the prophet. Sorry. Sorry. The Bible says he had, he had five stones, round stones in his bank. Apostle, prophet, yeah. evangelist, teacher, pastor. Yeah. And wow. all he needed was one. Wow. The one that could direct. Yeah. And only the one finger is the director. This one. And that represents the prophet. And he took one stone. Threw it. And when Goliath was busy showing off. And he puts his head back like this. He opened the visor. Of his helmet and it hit him here now when something hits you here you fall backwards mm -hmm. but the bible specifically says and he fell face down yeah. hey. in other words he was admitting that god is god wow. hey. ah. so david had an assignment to kill david to kill goliath and goliath had an assignment to die They didn't get it. Wow. Now, I want you to see in the book of 1 Samuel 1754, this is what it says. It says, David took the Philistine's armor after killing him mm -hmm. and put it in his tent. Mm -hmm. And then it says, and he took the head of the Philistine and buried it in Jerusalem. Mm. How? Okay. Why? Why take Goliath of Gath yeah. to a location in Israel mm -hmm. when you have taken his armor and kept it? Why not bury it near you where you are? Yeah. Yeah. Where you are staying near your tent. Put it there. He took it to Jerusalem. And he did it and buried it there. And the Bible tells us when Christ died, he died on a hill called, the, called Golgotha. Which theologians and researchers have, have actually described Golgotha is actually from the word Goliath. Gaul of Gath. Meaning to say that's the location where the skull of this guy, Goliath, was buried. Now, Jesus is on top like this. Spreading his arms to the world. And his feet on the cross are directly on top of the skull of Goliath. God's own proclamation that I have defeated the Nephilim. And I've preserved my pure blood. And now this thing is called Goliath. Golgotha is called the place of of skull, not of skulls, uh -huh. as of many, but one skull, which skull? Goliath's skull. And Jesus is on top saying, I've killed Goliath. And I've killed the Nephilim. I have preserved my bloodline. I know you didn't get that. I know you didn't get that. Now, 